teach you how to provide the very best oral care for your dog. I wanna teach you how to remove um, tartar from their teeth and also prevent plaque from turning into tartar in the future. There's four basic steps that I use. I'm gonna teach you how to make an all natural toothpaste with ingredients you probably already have in your home. Um, coconut oil, baking soda, we're gonna use two essential oils. Then my water additive, which changes the pH of their mouth, um, is you're gonna change their water every day, add an essential oil. The third is using a natural chew, which naturally scrapes the plaque and tartar off their teeth, but also increases saliva. And the very fourth is um, the type of food you feed, making sure you feed a low carbohydrate diet. So let's dive into those. Okay, so let's make the toothpaste recipe now. I like to make my own toothpaste. Um, a lot of the pet toothpaste that are on the market have sweeteners and additives and artificial flavors. These are all things that I'm trying to avoid with my pets. Um, this is super simple. It's organic coconut oil, the hard kind, not fractionated coconut oil. You're gonna use two tablespoons of coconut oil to one teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're going to add two drops of On Guard essential oil. This is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. And you're going to add two drops of lemon essential oil, which helps change the pH in their mouth. So we'll do one, two. You always wanna use a glass jar because the essential oils can pull petrochemicals out of plastic. And we're gonna add that one teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're just gonna stir that up. Now, if it's cold, this is going to solidify. So what you're gonna do before each use then is you're just simply gonna take a jar with some warm water, set it in there so it liquefies. There's a couple different tools that you can use to brush your dog's teeth. This is a bamboo toothbrush, nice soft bristles. This is great for like my lab, he's got a bigger mouth. But Bean, my little itty bitty palm, she's tiny. And so what I do is I take gauze. You can use a roll of gauze or um, you can get these gauze pads and I'm gonna demonstrate on her too after we're all done. You're gonna stick it around your finger, dip this in and then start to squeeze. All right, so this is Bean. So what I'm gonna do with her is I'm gonna take that gauze, wrap it around my pointer finger, and I'm gonna stick it into our toothpaste solution. This is great for dogs that have little teeny mouths. And then you're just gonna rub it gently along all of her teeth and her molars. And I can get my fingers right in there. So with her, her teeth were so bad when I first got her, you couldn't even see teeth. They had so much tartar on them, they were so gross. So I did that procedure twice a day for about a week and a half. And then I was able to take my fingernail and start to pull tartar off of her teeth. So you wanna be very gentle, not to make sure that we don't hurt her. And then of course, after you're done, give them a cookie, give them a treat. We worked on this in about three and, a, three and a half weeks. So this is Bella. And Bella has a very different type mouth. And Bella actually was pushed off the couch by um, one of our older labs accidentally. She broke her canine right at the root. Um, and when that happened, she actually almost um, instantaneously started feeling a little under the weather. So I brought her to the vet. We did some blood work and her kidney values were elevated. So every tooth is related to a meridian in the body and is related to a different organ. So we brought her to a do doggy orthodontist. We had the rest of the root removed. Um, and then we brought her back for blood work about a month later and all of her kidney values had gone back to normal. So oral care is extremely, extremely important. So the next tip for you is 
um, your water. So you're going to use a stainless steel, ceramic, or glass bowl. Again, essential oils can pull those petrochemicals out, plus we don't want our pets drinking that. Um, I always use filtered water, and then you're going to use two drops of lemon essential oil. So for every two cups of water, you can add one to two drops. You can start with one, especially if your pet is um, sensitive to new flavors and smells. I like to use a little whisk and just whisk it up first thing in the morning. And that's it, because as we know, water um, and oil separates. So you're gonna change their water once a day. This is going to change the pH in their mouth so that the plaque does not turn into. Now let's talk about the types of treats and chews that we're gonna feed our pets. So I really love raw bone marrow bones. These are soup bones. Um, I don't buy them from the grocery store. I make sure that the ones that I buy are grass fed, um, and you know, so you can get the cleanest beef as possible. And I love tracheas. So this is a trachea chew. This is a softer chew that they really can work on and it gets that saliva going. So you're getting um, a lot of action in their mouth. And then um, one of my other favorites is the Himalayan chews, the Himalayan cheesy yak chews. Um, these last a super long time. See, they look like that. And then when they get smaller, what you can do is put them in, in the microwave and they actually blow up kind of like popcorn and they turn into this crunchy chew. So I take them away when they're about this big. I don't want them to be a choking hazard. My last favorite treat are these Whimsy. They're dental strips. Um, I really like them, they're veggie strips, and they um, come in many different shapes and sizes. I like the strips. I like the flat strips because Bean can get her mouth around them because her mouth is so tiny. Bella's got a flat little funny shaped face. She can get her, and they're great for Buka too. Um, and so my dogs get one every night before they go to bed. So. Buka will get one after supper, before he goes to bed, and then Bean and Bella will get one. I actually put a half of one, these break right in half, so they're easy, and um, Bella will get hers, and I put Bean in her playpen before she goes to sleep at night. This is gonna remove all the plaque from the day, from supper that they just had. And my last recommendation is that you feed a biologically appropriate diet. My dogs eat a raw prey model diet, which is 80% muscle meat, 10% bone, 10% organ meat. And then I add my own um, vegetation, like zucchini or spinach um, steam. Nutrition is a whole nother topic. If you want a video on nutrition, um, just let me know and I'll be sure to send that out to you. But the reason you want to feed a raw meat or cooked diet at least um, and stay away from kibble is kibble is a carbohydrate. Carbohydrates lead to plaque. And carbohydrate is the number one um, facilitator, I guess, of uh, plaque and tartar on dogs, especially small dogs. And just some final notes. So if your dog is struggling with a lot of tartar on their teeth and you really just are unsure whether you can make headway, give it two to three weeks. Consistency matters. If you use that essential oil toothpaste and do all of these other tips and tricks for two to three weeks, you are gonna find that tartar is gonna start to chip off. Now, as a maintenance program, I brush my dog's teeth now just once a week. I do it on Sundays. They have no tartar, they get regular dental chews, and it's also phenomenal mental stimulation for them. Um, but once you get ahead of it, the maintenance is super easy. You can definitely brush your dog's teeth four times a month. 
Great, let me know if you have any other questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And I can also help you get those um, essential oils.